Along with Jerusalem and New York, Antwerp is one of the main places in the world where Yiddish is still used and studied. I've come to the University of Antwerp Institute of Jewish Studies to find out more. Yiddish is a language and uh, which is, it's, it's, a, it's a Jewish language. There are uh, 25 different uh, Jewish languages, but uh, Yiddish is still an important Yiddish, uh, Jewish language. There is a literature, there are about a uh, few hundred thousand people who speak Yiddish. My parents, they spoke between them Yiddish. They came both from Poland and uh, uh, I heard that language and I had also uh, passed in the Switzerland where I have learned German. So Hebrew uh, and German, they were a good base for starting uh, Yiddish again. What lessons have you learned from your study of Yiddish? Well, uh, the lesson is that life uh, was very hard and it's uh, still hard for some people. And uh, of course, they lived in their Jewish tradition and then uh, kept them strong. Dennis, you were a student of Yiddish. Why did you bother to study Yiddish? Well, it was very much almost a moral question to me. Um, we, every day, languages die out. And I think, I feel that every time a language dies, a part of our humanity dies. I mean, the, the philosopher Wittgenstein once said, um, the limits of my uh, language are the limits of my world. And I think he was very right in saying so. And I think one can deduce from that that whenever a language dies, a part of the world dies, and a part of our humanity dies. And of course, Yiddish is a language was in a, is still partly endangered. And I think it's one's duty almost, and to try to learn that language, to keep it alive. Uh, languages can only survive when people are prepared to learn them, to speak them, and to keep the heritage of that language alive and continue it. They're both Jewish languages, so what's the difference between Hebrew and Yiddish? Hebrew today is used by the secular uh, uh, Jewish community in Israel. It is not necessarily connected to religion, meaning that uh, a, Ye a Hebrew speaker can be religious, can be Haredi, can be secular, can be atheist, uh, while Yiddish today, contemporary Yiddish, is connected to religion, definitely meaning that Hasidim, who are ultra-Orthodox, who are very religious in their beliefs, use Yiddish. So with its constant use in the Hasidic community and the fact that it's being studied in the universities of the world, the hope is that Yiddish will remain a living language and continue to be used. Colin Stevens for JN1 in Antwerp.